All right, so now I'm going to create one spawn point and then I'm going to create two more. So first of all, I'm going to create a game object and I'm going to create a cube, 3D object cube. Why? Because I like cubes for spawn points because I can see them and then I can remove the mesh renderer. All right, having done so, I'm going to place it somewhere where the camera is showing. So I'm going to go where the trees are over there somewhere, okay? And then zoom in by double clicking on it. Now, if I press play, let's see if I can see it. Okay, I actually don't see it, so it's probably either not placed correctly or it's just that it's too small. So I'm going to move it a little bit. And as you can see, it's because it's behind the tree, so I just have to move it a little bit. So in my game, I have to move it. I'm going to take the cube and move it a little bit here. All right, so we'll be able to see it. Let's go back to the game and here is the cube. You guys see it? All right. So that could be one spawn point. Now, what I want to do from that spawn point is remove the box collider and remove the mesh renderer. And then I want to say that this is a player spawn point one. All right. Why? So that I know that this is where I'm going to spawn, uh, spawn a player. Now, I'm going to need multiple of them, but the reason why I'm only adding one is because I need to duplicate them very soon. But before I do so, I need to tell the system that this is a spawn point. I'm going to add component and look for network um, net network start position right here. You guys see it? All right, select it, network start position. Okay, once it's added, I need to go back to the network manager. And then if you see inside of the network manager, you have the player spawn method and so let me just increase that so that you guys can see it better. And for the player spawn method, I don't want it to be random. I want it to be round robin. And when you do that, it's going to select through the spawn points. But here, I don't have any spawn points, so I'm going to add them. All right, how do I do this? Well, um, I, don't, I don't even need to put them here because it knows automatically that if I have a spawn point, because I added a, a, a start position, it automatically knows that this is a start position. And if I press play, you will see what I'm talking about now. I'm going to click on LAN host and here it is. All right. Now, let me show you. I'm going to move the spawn point. I'm going to take that spawn point and I'm going to move it somewhere else. I'm going back to the scene and I'm going, going to move it closer to the mountains there. All right. Press play. All right. And now I'm going to pl place the LAN host. And look, there it is. Now, there's something uh, weird here is that, as you can see, the character is not touching the floor. So you'll be like, hey, what's going on here? Why is the character not touching the floor? Well, you know, it's very simple. The reason why it's not touching the floor is that because the it's taking the coordinates of the spawn points and the spawn points is not touching the floor. So let's look at the cube. I'm going to put back the mesh renderer and move it so that it touches the floor. Okay, move it a little bit. Let's see if that does it. I'm going to press play. And land host, still not, it's a little bit too high. Okay, no problem, easy fix. First, I'm gonna put it back here. Yes, I can definitely see it's too high, so let me move it a little bit. Okay, let's see, um, that should be okay. I'm gonna remove the mesh renderer, press play. So, you know, you know, with tweaking, you'll get it. Land host, okay, it's almost touching the floor. We're almost there. Just gonna move it a little bit more. Press play and let's see. All right, so now it is touching the floor. I'm gonna zoom in so that you guys can see it. All right, that's perfect and I can move it. So that, that will do just fine. Okay, so I have one spawn point, but is that enough? No, I want multiple spawn points. How do I do this? It's very simple. Thank you, Unity. I'm gonna click on this spawn point, right click and duplicate. And I'm gonna name it spawn point two. And by the way, now I need to position it. Where do I want this one? Well, let's say I want it over there in the grass. All right, I'm gonna put it here. And I'm gonna make another one. How? Well, I'm gonna right click and duplicate and name this one spawn point three. Okay, and now I need to modify its location. I'm going to put it more to the side. So somewhere around here. Okay, so that will do. Okay, now, but for the sake of uh, keeping things organized, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create an empty game object, create empty. And I'm gonna call this one player spawn points. 
And guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take all those components and put them inside of this. All right, okay, great. So now I have a nice structure. All right, so make sure you do that too. A player spawn points that has all those spawn points. All right, now let's see this in action, right? All right, press play. And as you can see, I click on land host and it appears right there. I'm gonna stop this, land host, it appears right there. So as you can see, it's using different spawn points. Okay, so it's perfect, right? Now, uh, it hasn't used the, the other spawn point yet, but as you can see, it's using different spawn point all the time, perfect. Okay, so now, now here we go, we have different spawn points. And the more players you're going to add, the, the more uh, it's going to spread around spawn points. Now feel free to add 10 spawn points if you want. Like here, I only put them really close to each other, but if I were to create a, a game for production, I want my spawn points every far away from each other. I want one spawn point here, another one in another corner, you know, in every corner. Why? So that it takes time for the players to find each other so that, you know, they don't kill each other right away. They, they're like chasing each other. All right, and that's it for the spawn points. Isn't that beautiful and easy, right? Just the way we love it.